So, I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet during the recording of this, but I want to talk about these, I guess you could say, quote-unquote, hybrid uh, USB flash drive SD card readers. And why you do not want to waste your money on these and how much these originally cost. You know, what are the price of these? Uh, price is $2 plus tax. So you're looking at $8 in total at the most. Uh, this is the first one that I bought. Because I was looking to back up some stuff. And what this is, is of course, has the USB, it is shaped like a flash drive. Right? On this end, you have where you can put an SD card in. Now, it's supposed to be for an SD card reader, but at the same time, it's supposed to have the sanity or the technology where it can be used as a flash drive to even put in some files without having an SD card reader because this is no more than an extra extension that you can use if you so choose. You know, they're kind of like the same things when it comes to those like Kodak flash drives. Uh, for those that have places um, uh, like uh, liquidation places, right, that uh, get li liquidation returns, kind of like a, a give me five, if you will. I don't know how many of you guys have heard of that store, but we have one here. And I would see tons of these uh, Kodak USB uh, flash drive safe things, you know, on like dollar days, which is like Wednesday through Thursday, uh, sometimes five dollars on Saturdays and Sundays. You know, I never bothered, you know, to get one, you know, it wasn't my intention. But seeing how this does not work, and I saw people look talk about these, but not talk about these because they don't want to show a lot of stuff. It's like a, maybe a minute clip, and they hype it up. And I'm going to talk about this. You know, this won't even show up on your computer. No, no. Like, forget putting an SD card in. Plug it up, won't show up. The red light comes on. So when I did put an SD card in. And I put the USB part in my computer, right? Doesn't show up. Would not show up. So, and I have about three USB outlets plus a uh, USB um, extension, if you will, where you can put multiple USBs in in one strip, if you will. You know, never showed up, never showed up. I put it in my PS4, never showed up. I uh, plugged it up to my PS2, never showed up at all. So, these right here, and as you can see by the name of the brand right there, does not work. You know, by itself, again, tax, you know, $4. This is, this is cheap. Um, you know, I don't even recommend this. Like, listen to how hollow this is. Listen. That ain't good. Let me go in my book bag really quick. Actually, what the hell is it? This is a USB flash drive. You know, this is a Sam, Sam Duck, Sam Disk USB. You know, I got this at uh, last year at Office Max. Um, this holds quite a lot, actually. Um, geez, how much does it hold? Oh, God, what are the gigabytes on this? 
so it's 256 gigabytes that's quite a lot uh, this 256 gigabytes ran me for the price tag value point at 150 to 160 I even got a 256 gigabyte US not USB um, SD card that I have in this phone to hold pictures, music, videos, and it still has so much space that it's like, wow. Even the apps, when you can uh, move, you know, an app to an SD card, you know, still has so much space, so so much space. And that was about you know one fifty, one sixty as well. So, you know, both of these on the same day are pretty expensive. Like. You know, you 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 know they have to have it printed out on a card for you to take off the shelf, bring it to the cash register, and they gotta go in the back and grab these. And this has a bit of weight to it. You know, these is what you can back up files on and transfer to. You know, this is what this is supposed to be, but it doesn't do its job. This is light. This has some weight, and you can tell the difference as well. You know, you can hear. That ain't hollow. That, that that's pretty, pretty sturdy, right? So I bought another one today, right? That's post that has a where you can plug it into the old type of uh, Android plug-in to a phone. Uh, does not work. Uh, doesn't show up either. This is about two dollars plus tax, so like four. Again, you're looking at a total of eight dollars for both. Did not work. The other end, right? Supposed to be a regular USB. Uh, plugged it in. Computer doesn't show up. Uh, it doesn't even. The red light only comes on, and that's it. Um, you know, sadly. Uh, you know, again, you know, this is supposed to be this. This is supposed to say stuff, transfer it. It does not. And these are so hyped up to be better than flash drives. But if they were, why are they so cheap? So this is the brand to this one. Nothing at all shows up on either or. You would think this would work because this is heavy than this. So, my suggestion to people looking into getting these, do not do it. They do not work at all. They are cheaply made, and for the price, again, for $8 for two of them, that should tell you a lot. But you never know. You know, you're not going to know until you learn, right? So, do I recommend these? Absolutely not. Save your money. Um... If you guys want to save stuff to back up things, right? You know, what I do suggest is this. And this is how, you know, I still save stuff today, right? When your computer, laptops gets ready to shut down, okay, yeah, you're going to want to go to your Office Max. You're going to want to buy one of these, okay? Um... You are going to have to spend some money. You know, again, these do not come cheap. I think for one alone, for the 200 and what? 256 gigabytes. I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to run you at maybe an estimate of 165 to $170. You're getting, you're definitely, when I say getting your money's worth when you get this, you know. You're going to want to get an SD card as well to have multiple backups. So, you know, an SD card for, again, 256 right? Again, you know, that's going to run you about the same like this. So, again, I understand it's expensive, but you're going to get your money's worth. You're definitely going to get your money's worth. Um, if you have a spare phone that's really good condition, right? You know, you can back things up on that phone on the external hard drive if everything is cleared out of it, right? You can back things up on that if you choose um, as well. 
and your hard drive you want to make sure you keep your hard drive because you can still reuse that hard drive because they sell hard drive uh, plugins for like laptops and computers in case you get something new and you want to file you know out of that or you want to see what else is in it so you know you want to save that hard drive you know definitely as well so you'd be able to back up multiple things because there's a good chance that you know everybody's like I say stuff to my Google uh, cloud save Apple save you know which is digitally but at the end of the day you may not be able to ever get into to that account or to those files again you know if you take a look at a uh, the days of um, MySpace, you know, I was, we thought, man, that's going to last forever, you know. Sadly, nobody managed to save their pictures, and if you try to go on there now, hey, nothing's really going to show up. Barely to little of anything will ever show up for that. Uh, same thing when it came to Hotmail, you know, Hotmail's not around. I can't even get into mine anymore. Uh... You know, there's a good chance all those files are definitely gone. So, you know, you're going to want to really back up stuff. And, you know, sometimes I still back up things on CD. You know, blank DVDs uh, for pictures, videos, uh, for music as well. Just regular blanks for that. Because you, you never know. So, if, if you want to really back up things, you know, that is the way to do it. It's costly. But you know what? it's reliable and even if again even if you have like even two phones you know you can back stuff up on those two phones as well that way you you're not going to lose something that if you do lose something you're going to have a backup you see, you see what i'm saying so again even though this is costly this right here for the 256 gigabytes this was a it's worth it though it's worth it because let me tell you something, man. There are times, you know, I couldn't afford a, a USB expensive one, but the one I had at the time, which was like the hundred gig one, it, it saved a lot through through a lot of years. I still got packed away uh, a regular thirty five or thirty two gigabyte for Batman flash drive for, for that little flash drive from little gigabytes held a lot, believe it or not. Um, I got other flash drives that go up to just your regular 200 or 160 gigabytes, right? That are holding a lot in it, that are packed up and preserved. So, yes, you're going to be spending the money with these, but it's worth it. And if you see stuff like this in stores with cheap prices on them, the ones I've been talking about, save your money because these do not work at all. I guarantee you the reason why those videos that you see people talk about or try to review these, why they're only a minute short, is because they know these don't work. And they're not going to show you anything either. Again, something that seems so promising is obviously, I guess you could say, too good to be true, which it is. So, for $8, out the window, down the drain. It's that old saying, you know, live and learn, and I definitely learned. So, for this brand, for this, do not get it. For this brand, do not get it as well. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.